and welcome to yet another cube draft. Uh, we basically open up a soul ring. Uh, there's no way I'm passing that card. Um, what else is interesting here? I guess Miloku somewhat. Walder has a lot of value uh, and is likely to wheel. Moat is okay. Um, given that this format isn't that creature based. But I mean, you can't pass up a soul ring. The card is just too good. Uh, Mystical Tutor would be fine. Sort of Light and Shadow, I'm not really a big fan of. I'm just not a fan of creature based cards in this format. Uh, regrowth was also there by the way. We can go sneak attack again and try that. Uh, we have tried that before and it did work out. And I do like the cards. Like if we don't get it then we don't get it but I mean it's early enough for us to be able to play it. Uh, there's also two nail in the very same pack so hope that wheels although very unlikely. But given that you know sneak attack it's still early we'll pick it up here. I didn't see what other card would be powerful enough to, you know, uh, guarantee having a fun deck. I mean, outside of going creatures, of course. Scroll Rack is viable, but this also puts us in, in red, by the way. Um, it gives a Johnny Vengeance, but we're often not going to be white. So that's a downside. Maybe Awakening Zone is a bit better. I do like a Johnny Vengeance. Like it taps down creatures, um, it provides a clock against control decks. I think it's good enough here. It's not a creature, uh, Waking Zone helps us a bit more, but if we're jumping into another color, yeah, might as well be a Johnny Vengeance here. Let's see. Uh, given that we're white, we want the Yona, nah. If it had a, an effect immediately, maybe. Um, we're probably going green as well. Like, usually you go green with this. But maybe Metalwork is a bit better. Although Lantex is also okay. Like, if we had Johnny, nah, then Lantex is terrible. Uh, Scroll Rack has already passed. Um, Yona is good if we can. Nah, it's just trash. This is only good with scroll rack. This is only good if you go green. And even then, nah, I think uh, this Garakus has a better upside. Uh, Plateau would then be good fix. Um, I think it's a bit better than Master the Wild Hunt, given that we're probably splashing white. And I want to pick this high high enough. Like, Searing Spear would be the other pick. Um, and then Master the Wild Hunt, I think. But uh, I like having fix. I really value it highly. Um, this is a tough one. Like we we played Pernicious Deed before, which definitely worked out for us. Uh, but given that we're already splashing for a Johnny, I don't know if we can afford the second splash for Pernicious Deed. And I don't know which one is better. Um, we could also take Zealous Conscripts, or just Maze of it, or Incinerate, of course. Um, Maze definitely has value, but I think Incinerate is a bit better. Uh, this is a strong pack, like Everflowing Chalice and Top in the same pack. Mm, I think Everflowing Chalice might have a little more value than Top. This is definitely not a pick. Like Parallax Wave is actually also good. Uh, but the problem is, I'm very likely be splashing white and not be base white. Uh, in which case, this becomes worse. But it's really good if you can sneak attack something in. Uh, but for now, we're gonna go for the chalice. Um, well, we aren't really getting a lot of green through, and Fate's Fairs is still worth splashing. I think it's better than all the other cards here. Uh, Stunted Growth is fine, but like we're not getting any green. Uh, there's a welder, which I actually like if I can pick up like a really big artifact creature. Plus, just good. Like, what else? Gogari signets. Um, I'm gonna go for the welder here. I guess Bayou or Savannah. Uh, Savannah is then better. Bayou. Nah, let's go for the Savannah. Magma Jets. Metal Worker because it's wield. Uh, I guess back rat, uh, definitely not playing it. And Zealous Conscripts actually wheels. Nice. 
So far, not a single big creature though, which is obviously terrible for us. Like, um, to the nail didn't wheel either, so I think we're not gonna be. Oh wow, we still get a Grim Lab Master. That's pretty broken. I don't think we're gonna be green at this point, uh, just because it got cut so often. Unless we get like Ode of Druids, and I'm definitely playing it, but we still need like really big creatures. Um, hmm. There's Monolith, which I like. The Smokestack, which is good with the Welder. Um, hmm. So pick up the Monolith and hope the Smokestack wheels. Do something like that, and then maybe we get like some really big creatures passed. Yeah, let's try that. We still need like really good creatures. Because at this point it's just not coming together. Neither have we seen Oat yet, but I mean it's fine because you know what are we gonna do with Oat if we don't actually have big creatures to play? You can only use this for artifacts. Nah, you just gain the mana. That's fine. So yeah, if you don't play sneak attack and don't play the Garrick, I think our deck is still fine. Uh, we definitely want like a bigger artifact for the Welder. Uh, we probably want Fateless Looting then. Uh, we want another kill condition, although in these colors it's pretty hard to find one. There's a Mox and a Time Walk in this pack. Really? What the hell did my <laughs> was this pack? Uh, again, no big creature here. Um, what would I want if this wheels? Friction Metamorph, Cruel Signet, uh, but can't pet up a Mox. Like, you shouldn't ever pet up a Mox. There's Tangle Wire, which is an artifact. It slows myself down, but given that I have Welder, it's actually okay. Tangwire is very likely to wield though. Is there anything else I would prefer over that? Track Tusk, although that would then be my splash color. Border Charm just doesn't do it. Um, I think Tangwire is the correct pick here. Or maybe Firebolt, but Manic Vandal isn't actually that bad because. Uh, but you, the fact that you have to do it makes it a lot worse. Uh huh. Stoneforge music is useless given that I passed up a lot of other things. Tamiyo is strong but can't really do anything with it. I think Kitchen Things is a correct pick. Maybe Genesis Wave? Nah, Genesis Wave is green. What the hell am I talking about? There's no way I'm playing green here. Um, so yeah, Kitchen Things then becomes the on only other white card. I think we're playing white. We can still jump in another color. Like blue. Just get the braids. But then we want steam vents. I think we want braids here. But I'm probably not gonna play it. Uh here it's Simic Signet versus Lodestone Golem. Uh Lodestone Golem is a good creature plus it's an artifact. Uh, Signet is mana acceleration. Hmm. It's a tough one. Um, I'd rather have a lodestone, I think. Although we do sideboard out so often. Uh, here it has to be a signet, though. Like, yes, there's wall of omens, but signet is a signet. Uh, I can't really keep on passing those. Birthing pot does not work for me. Time Twister probably does not work for me. Magus of the Moon is okay, but it's probably the best card for me here. Like, Time Twister is pretty weak. Magus of the Moon is okay. Scavenging was is okay, but like, I'm not gonna be green. So, Magus it is. And then we get a Workshop, Monolith, and Solemn. Uh, Solemn would be fine if we actually splashed, which we aren't. Workshop is okay, but it's not the bomb. Um, so I guess we pick up Monolith here. 
but we still need like late game to actually do anything with all this stuff. Solemn fixes me. Mission workshop now. Uh, there's a smokestack. I uh, definitely want that. And the signets. So yeah. So more artifacts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven artifacts at this point. Uh, scroll rack didn't wheel, by the way, did it? Uh, Manic vandal, sure. So let's put these to the side for now. Just play these colors. Not really a big fan of what I have here, but let's put sneak attack to the side as well. We just don't have a good creature yet. Um, I guess Mutavolt is a better card, although this is actually pretty good. Um, so it's basically a small fireball, but given that we actually have a bunch of mana acceleration, I think that's fine. Uh, would I play Wildfire? It's a good question. We just need like a win condition, like a really good one. Cargan Dragonlord is a win condition. Though <laughs> not really a great one. I mean, I like it, but not enough, I think. Savannah to the sides. Yeah, we want like a mirror bellosphere. Um, I don't know what else is there. Like, Sundering Titan is really good to bring in fast. Um, sure, we'll pick up a burst lightning here. I'm not sure if I run the metal worker given the deck we have, teetering pigs, yeah that's pretty weak. You might say, well, run this over a mountain, it, it has no downside. Sure it does. Like coming into play tapped is actually a big downside. I I've seen people make that mistake. Like they are not an aggro deck and they still run this in their limited format. And then they just you know lose the game because this came into play untapped and custom pretty hard um, there's is it signet I don't think I can pass up a Chandra but I'm thinking about it there just isn't another big one here uh, let's pick up a Chandra I mean that's a kill right mm, it's okay Gets kill possible wow almost accidentally clicked there what's with no big creatures um, Figure of Destiny is a big one. Like if you can drop it early, it, it dumps excess mana and late game it's a bomb. Uh, it's probably the better card out of all of these. And maybe someone will confuse us for an aggro deck. Who knows? Yeah, an aggro deck with smokestack. <laughs> Smokestack is actually okay if you're aggro. Like, your opponent always has to sacrifice first, which is great. And when they do, you can then um, start stealing tempo away from them. Like, you both have to sacrifice things, sure, but you are ahead on the board, so that doesn't matter. Uh, still no big creature, by the way. Uh, like, we just haven't seen any. Uh, I think Caracas would have been fine if we managed to go the sneak attack route, but we didn't. Lotus Bloom is pretty trash here, because I don't need the mana ever. Then there's Lightning Mauler and Museum Mortars. Or Caracas. I guess I'll play Caracas. Just for these two. Oh, is Dragonlord legendary? No, it isn't. Okay, so this card is okay. Um, the problem, of course, is that we don't have an artifact. Whenever an artifact is return card to battlefield, it can be your commander. Yeah, I mean, I guess we want it. We also want a Scalding Tarn, though. <sighs> is this even good? Like, we just don't have an artifact. Nah, I, I don't want it. We don't have an artifact to to bring in. So it's pretty trash for us. Um, I guess Ancient Grudge against other artifact decks or Relic against Graveyard-based decks. 
Uh, recurring Nightmare well, would fit our deck real nicely. Uh, I guess I'll go for Grudge here as a sideboard card. It's an okay sideboard card. Uh, we have 25 cards, 2 need to go. Which at this point is probably Metal Worker and... Basalt Monolith. Just because I don't have a late game. Not having a late game here is pretty horrendous. Uh, Wildfire is okay. I mean, definitely taking that one. Uh, it's probably better than Earth Mesa. And making people sacrificing lands is okay. Uh, Wheel of Fortune does not really help me. Battlefield Fortune, on the other hand, sure does. So, yeah, um, that's it, right? We saw all of them. No, there's still one memory jar. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> like, I don't see myself really playing it, but I guess it's better. Uh, Avalanche Riders. Sure. Um, Brimstone Volley versus Core House. Has to be Brimstone. Winter Orb. Is fine. Uh, and then this Crap. I said crap, not scrap, by the way, because it really is crap. Uh, molten rain. Uh, I think basalt monoliths. Avalanche riders. How many do we have? Four. So twenty-nine. Burst lightning. Sure. Um. Brushland and Savannah, I'll, uh, I will play him when I sideboard in Ancient Grudge, so it's it's worth picking up those. Like, we have three green sources then. Actually, four with the Signet as well. Uh, Metal Worker is probably out. Francis Goblin is not in the main deck. How good is Memory Jar? So, four, 27, four, still need to go. Guess Magus of the Moon. Our deck doesn't do anything, by the way. It's pretty trash. Um, we want like these two to be able to reuse Tanglewire and Winter Orb. So we are somewhat graveyard based. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven artifacts. Uh, Winter Orb does lock down opponents, and if you can wilder it away whenever you want to, and then wilder it back in. To have an untap, that's pretty good. And deny your opponent that untap. Um, hmm. Maybe burst lightning is better than incinerate. So first of all, this is a late card. This probably doesn't make it in the main deck. Manic Vandal isn't okay, although you know it's gonna cost me as well. Um. Burst Lightning versus Incinerate. I guess Burst Lightning is weaker. They were so heavy on the twos already. These are 26 cards, so still 3. Really? That can be correct. Do we even splash Fates Feathers, by the way? Yeah, I think we need it against Planeswalkers. We'll probably play like two planes, and then we have what five sources? That doesn't seem sufficient. Could we just play the Johnny? Sure, but Fates first with there as well. It's a tough one. I guess Zealous Conscripts isn't that great either. So we do have uh, 26 or so three cards. Three cards. So Fates Feathers, Zealous Conscripts. What does this even do? Discard up to two cards. What happens if you... Draw seven cards. So you both lose the game then? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking what if I remember the jar and we're both out of the deck. Because this digs me through my deck. 
what happens then? I guess figuring that I have memory jar, I actually want in as many mana generation as I can. Um, yeah, this is 24. We still need to cut a card. Like, I'm thinking about running a landless, but I don't think I can afford it. Especially not given that I'm gonna run planes. Tangleware. Tangleware and Winter Orb is actually numbo. Because if you Winter Orb, then you have to tap, tap it to Tanglewire and then everyone gets an untap. Which isn't really what you want, but Tanglewire with Welder is pretty good. Especially if you, you know, somewhat go for your opponent's mana base and try to gain some control with Smokestack. Do want to load some golem still in right? Maybe this card just isn't good enough. I'm, I'm really not a fan of that card. Wow, it actually had the same lands that I wanted. So I'll submit and I'll see you guys for round one. This is, will probably be a bad draft, uh, but we'll see. I mean, it's a type I never tried before. Uh, we'll see how it works out. Hope you guys enjoyed it.